What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be going over kind of a beginner's guide to the different stash tabs that you guys can purchase for PoE2 early access okay so all of these of uh, different types of staff tabs can be purchased inside of the poe store you can come into the microtransactions shop and access these um stash tabs so we're going to go over some of the stash tabs that i recommend that you guys get for your poe2 experience and these stash tabs are really going to help you guys out and just sort all of your different loot and just make things a hundred times easier easier for your poe2 experience so first things first let's go into the stash tab so we have our stash tab you'll be able to access this as soon as you get into the game and you can see your stash tab every single tab that you have and if it is going to be like poe1 you can have an unlimited amount of stash tabs so for most people who if you guys don't already know stash tabs is essentially where you guys keep all of your gear all of your stuff that you can find all of your loot all of your currency all of everything everything that's in the game is where your stash goes that's the baseline so what happened in poe one is that they allowed different they made different types of stash tabs so they would automatically sort your gear your currency and just makes things searchable and much easier for you in here instead of having to throw all of your currency all of your gear all your divination cards all of these things all into one tab with no auto sort or anything like that. So with that said, I'm going to go over a few of the different stash tabs that I would recommend that you guys get. I'm going to talk about one of the biggest changes in the last tab at the end, and then I'll show you guys exactly where you guys can get all of these um, for POE2. You can buy them on the website or in POE1, you can come into the end game here and purchase them from the microtransaction store. So with that said, let's go over the very first tab. This is by far the most important tab that any new player should get in Path of Exile 2, and that is your currency tab. This is the, again, the most important tab. This is where it's going to house all of your currency that is going to be in the game. As you can see here, it holds every piece of currency, all your general currency, as well as your exotic currency. All right, now... Keep in mind, before we kind of dive deep into the rest of these tabs in this one, note that with POE2, some of these tabs may seem a little bit different. Some things might have changed or will change considering the games between POE1 and POE2. So just keep that in mind. It may look slightly different. The design may be a little bit different or the items or the currency, whatever it is, it is going to be a little bit different. But generally, this is going to be pretty similar to what you're going to have in POE2. So the currency tab, it's going to house all of your currency. This is a lifesaver. It gets everything from all of your stuff to your best currency, like chaos divs and, or chaos orbs and div or divine orbs, your highest form of currency outside of your gold here. So it houses absolutely everything. The main currency tab here under general is we're going to be using pretty much everything to customize your gear, upgrade, craft, all of that stuff. This is going to be the main one. Now your exotic stuff or exotic tab is going to be for your more exotic items that are going to be used for like bosses or to really craft very particular gear pieces. I know crafting is going to be a little bit more intense in PoE 2, but this tab is, is fantastic. It is going to be the best and the very first one that you should purchase, especially if you're only going to get one tab. Next is your essence tab. Essence is one of the most notable and often farmed end game mechanics in path of exile and it is these items are used to craft some of the best items in the game very easily so essence is a very strong one to get especially into the end game it houses all of these different uh essences which apply different um modifiers depending on what you're going to do so as an example you have this shrieking essence of dread here if you use it on a wand it's going to increase your projectile speed a bow gives you plus two to level of socketed bow gems etc now these modifiers are obviously going to be different in path of exile 2 but you guys get the 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 gist of it next this is i call this my boss rush loot tab but this is basically a four a four box in one box, if that makes sense. So you have four times the space in here as opposed to one 
of like this. So you see all this space in this tab. This tab right here has a lot of space, but if we take this item and go to the boss rush, look how much more space that this one gives you. I definitely suggest getting one of these. These are called like a four box stash tab. Getting one of these will save you so much time and energy because you can just make this a dump tab like I have here, like a dump. You just throw everything in here that you find along your journey, and then you can sort through it later. It houses four times the size of one single tab here. This is by far definitely get just one of these. You probably see like I only have two of them. So because I play a little bit more than, you know, most people, I would guess. But just one of these is absolutely fantastic. So definitely suggest that you guys get one of these four box um, stash tabs. Next is going to be your cards. This is going to be your uh, div cards. This houses all the different divination cards that you're going to find in the game. Uh, you can also search all of these things. And this is where you can get some really cool loot um, inside the game as you're just kind of playing. So divination cards end up being a, we can talk about these in a separate video, but they're a way to kind of uh, accumulate different um, gear and resources and currency and even some of the best items in the game, like a mage blood. Um, you can, or excuse me, not mage blood, but a headhunter. So you can really get some really good cards that'll help you out. And they're just passively along the way. So div cards is going to be um, a really good tab to have. Otherwise, they're going to be just like this. The div cards, they take up one box. And if you have a bunch, especially in like a big tab here, they just take up space, unnecessary space. So definitely get a div card and just absolutely just throw it in there and it pops right in. Next, this one is a premium stash tab. I have it uh, titled as sell. So this is a premium stash tab and this is going to be the only way that you see like these gauntlets here are for 100 chaos. This is what I'm selling them for. We're gonna have a separate video that I'm gonna show to kind of give you guys a beginner's guide on how to sell and post items and stuff, getting you prepped for PoE2. But a premium stash tab is the only way that you can put items up for sale. This is the only tab that you can do it in. Um, otherwise you have to like, you, you won't be able to sell anything. So get a premium stash tab. You'll be able to list this stuff for, for whatever that you want, any currency that you want, and any price. So you can make it negotiable, whatever that you guys want. But a premium stash tab, once you guys get later into the game, you know, you get through the story, you start finding some really cool gear, you know, you want to start selling and getting into the market, then you need one of these stash tabs to do it. Okay, the last two tabs that I'm going to suggest that you guys get is the Delve tab because this is going to be inside the game. This is where we can get some fossils, where you can use these fossils to help um, craft certain gear mods on gear. So like certain modifiers that you need on gear. So a Delve mod is good. This is few far in between. I would make this one of the last ones you get, but it is a good one. Um, and then your frag, your fragmentation uh, stash tab. This is going to be for a lot of different items in the game, especially for bosses. Accumulating four different types of these items allow you to go farm and fight bosses. Um, then you have all of your different scarabs that you can use to modify things. Breach, which is going to be um, inside the game, as well as the Eldritch. I don't know if Eldritch is going to be back, but Breach is definitely in here. Now, these tabs will change based on PoE2 and what is actually going to be in the game. But this is a very good stash tab to get to help sort out all this extra loot. Now, before we go show you exactly where to get all this stuff, um, we're going to talk about the map slash waystone tab. So in Path of Exile 1, the end game, which is maps, you have tier 1 maps to tier 17 maps, as well as the specialization maps. Okay. You have all these different maps that you guys can run. These are these are just all the floors that you guys can do over and over again. You collect different types of maps, all different names, all different floors, all these things to go run these over and over again to max out your atlas, to go ahead and get all this stuff done so you can get all of your your stones for the um, the atlas tree, or excuse me, the, um, the map device. You can get all of your stones here. So maps, this tab is going to be changing. So in PoE 1, it's a very huge tab. So if you're playing PoE 1 and you're still going to play even though PoE 2 is out, definitely get this one. I would get this one second or third after the currency tab. 
But in PoE 2, the reason this is titled Waystones is because now maps are going to turn into Waystones because you will be using Waystones to activate the end game uh, farming, which is the uh, that endless map picture that they gave us. Being able to run maps over and over and over again, I'll show you guys here. So when you come in here to the end game, you're going to have all the different maps that you guys can run or all the different floors if they should like this right here so you have this oh pause so this is the big end game where you have all the different maps or floors that you guys can go to so because you can only visit this part of the end game each one once it is an infinite but you can visit each one once we are no longer going to have a maps tab. It is turning into a waystone tab. And I'm not sure exactly how that waystone tab is going to look or feel and what, how many things that we're going to be able to store there as far as the waystones. But the waystones are what we're going to use to access that end game, um, you know, map device or map section going to each of the floors. So definitely be ready to get this one after the game releases and especially right when you get to end game. So once you hit 65 and you're able to access the end game, then definitely consider getting this one for sure. Okay, so outside of that, guys, let's go ahead and show you where to get these. If you're inside POE1, you can come into the micro, mic, micro transaction shop. You should still be able to access this through Steam as well as the actual website itself. So if you come up here to trade POE or even just to the regular thing, you can go back to your main site here. You can go back to the main site and you should be able to purchase all the stash tabs inside here. Um, but inside here, uh, the microtransaction shops inside POE1, I will show you what they look like. So you come over here to stash tabs. You get to see your gem tab. It shows you how many coins it is and it gives a brief description of what you want. So the currency tab is the one I showed you. A premium stash is definitely one I showed you. The divination in a premium quad stash tab. So quad, so four times is a uh, huge the map stash tab blight stash tab so all these are in here they're relatively uh easily priced i mean 40 coins if you go to buy points 40 coins is relatively cheap and if you got early access you should have got some points to be able to purchase some of this stuff because five dollars will give you one of these stash tabs pretty reasonable and gives a huge support to ggg um so the stash tabs very reasonably priced nothing's going to be really too big um, as far as the price wise, unless you get like a stash tab bundle or you do something like that or the unique stash tab. Otherwise, everything that you really need is just going to be five bucks or less. So, yeah, guys, these are the stash tabs. I definitely recommend that you guys go ahead and get these um, if you're going to be playing POE 2 because it is going to help you an absolute ton. It has helped me. I When I first started playing this game, I think I played... I don't know, a month into a league without these until my teammates helped me, you know, get these stash tabs and I, it made everything so much better. And as you guys can see, like when you have the item in your inventory um, and it's the same thing for console as well, clicking, it just automatically puts it in there. So it makes things super, super easy. Now for console players that are going to be playing POE 2, this is the exact same thing. You'll just have to use whatever buttons are coordinated for you on your controller. But this is going to act the same exact way. Uh, so as far as I know, the UI and stuff is going to be slightly different for console players. But the how the mechanics and everything work for the stash tab is going to be exactly the same. Now, one last thing before we head out of this video. I know it's just been a, a little long, but... Um, make sure, guys, when you go look at the microtransaction shop for the sash tabs, they always do a huge amount of sales on these. So you can wait like, you know, a little bit right before POE2 launches, or I'm sure they're going to have a flash sale on this with Black Friday or Cyber Monday, or even right before the early access starts to get people encouraged to buy these sash tabs. So make sure you're keeping a lookout for um, a sale. But yeah, guys, that's how everything works. Make sure you go get your stash tabs. Thank you guys so much for walk watching. Like the video, guys. Comment down below if you guys have any questions about this. Liking comments help me so much on the channel with the algorithm, so please do that. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.